the features such as how many drives are in front, such as obstacle drives, and also how many 3.5 drives are in front, and also how many things like USB ports are in front. Um, this doesn't really have uh, much to do with performance, but as far as just ease of use and plugging in your USB port, you might want some USB ports in front or something like that. You don't have to really worry about that. But um, another thing you're going to want to look for is stability. And I don't mean like stable like your computer is going to crash, but actual physical stability. Once uh, your hard drive starts spinning and your power supply is going, your computer might rattle around a little bit. Make sure that when you shake it a little bit, it's not going to rattle if you're going to put on something hard and it's going to be making a lot of noise. This is especially important if you're going to work in an office and you're working around a lot of people. If everyone else has a nice quiet case and yours is rattling around like a rattlesnake or something like that, then it's going to get annoying to them. Um, another thing is to make sure the things that are included with your case. Some or a lot of cases have fans and power supplies included. This case I bought right here has a fan included with it so I don't have to add any more fans to cool my case. Now my power supply I didn't want included because I wanted to show you guys how to put in a power supply but a lot of cases that you buy have power supplies included right in the back of them so you don't have to uh, buy an extra power supply and put it in separately, but we're going to be going over that in the next couple tutorials, so uh, you don't have to really worry about that right now, but again, if you want things included, then a lot of things included with the case are fan and power supply, so look sure, make sure those are included, and if they're not, you have to buy it separately. And the last thing, brand name. This is a huge thing people look for when buying the case. The brand name is very important to them. Um, to some good brand names I don't really want to tell you guys out I really like you guys to judge for that on your own but I will tell you that in this build I went with a Roswell this is uh, the Roswell is the brand name micro ATX which is what kind of motherboard you can put in it this is a micro ATX motherboard in this case supports micro ATX motherboard obviously since we want to build a computer that's gonna to fit together a mid tower which is just a size which is just a basic size and it also included a 120 millimeter fan which is pretty much means that I don't have to buy extra fans to cool my case so again a Roswell micro ATX mid tower with a 120 millimeter fan so now that we picked out our case we are good to go for our build so I uh, hope you picked out your case and once you did once you learn everything you need to know about building and picking out a case, you can move on to the next tutorial. So I hope you learned something. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next tutorial.